Welcome to the Web Starts Getting Started video tutorial. After you log in to your Web Starts account, the first screen you will see is called the Dashboard. The Dashboard is a central location for all your important account functions. Click on the Edit Website icon here, Working with Text. You can edit the text of any web page simply by clicking on it, then clicking on the pencil icon. You can then change the color of the text by selecting it, clicking on the foreground color option, and choosing your color. You can edit the font by selecting the text you'd wish to edit and choosing a different font. You can also uh, add other properties like bold, italics, and underline. You can change the size of your text by choosing it from the drop down. You can add more text to your page by clicking the insert text box icon then choosing to add a text box. Notice the text box will appear in the top left hand corner of your page. With the text box selected and holding the left button down on my mouse, I can then drag and drop that text box where I would like it to appear on my page. I can delete any text box or any object from my page by clicking the red X with the object selected. Working with images. To add an image to your web page, click on the insert image icon on the toolbar. You can then choose from images that have already been uploaded to what is called the file manager, or you can click on the browse button and upload an image from your local computer. Click on the image on your local computer and it's uploaded after a few moments it'll generate a thumbnail and you can then click on that thumbnail to add the image to your web page. You can drag and drop your image wherever you'd like it to appear on the page by clicking with the left button, mouse button, selecting the image and holding it down. You can resize the image by clicking on the small gray squares called handles and moving them in or out. Working with links you can create a link from any text or image on your web page in Web Starts. Simply click on the image, then click on the link icon on the toolbar, and choose whether you would like to, to link to another page on your website, or link to another website, or to a file that you've uploaded to your website. For this example, I'm going to link this image to the contact page of my site, so I click on it and then click create link. You can also create a link from text. Simply double click into a text box, select the text you would like to turn into a link, click on the link icon in the toolbar, choose the page that you would like to link to, and for this example I'm going to link to a page on another site. I'll go ahead and link to yahoo.com just for this example. You can also change the link appearance. You can change the color of your link and you can add a rollover effect to your link which is a color and effect that will change when you hover your mouse cursor over your link just like I've done so here. Working with layers. When you add an image or text or any other object to a page it may appear in front of something that you would like to be viewable. Every object in Web Starts can be moved forward or backwards simply by selecting the object and clicking one of these four options. Bring to front, which brings your object all the way to the front. Bring forward, which brings your object one layer forward. Send backward, which sends your object one layer backward. Or send to back, which will send your object all the way to the back. Saving and publishing your web page. You can save and publish your web page at any time by clicking on the save icon in the upper left hand corner. Any time that you save your web page, it will be published live to the web. Moving objects in straight lines. You can move any object on your web page in a straight line simply by clicking on the object and then using your directional arrow keys on your keyboard to move that object. By selecting the object and pressing the direction you would like to move it, 
You can tap on the arrow key and move it one pixel at a time. You can hold down the shift button and tap the direction you would like to move it and it will move it 10 pixels at a time. Selecting multiple objects. You can select multiple objects at the same time simply by clicking on them and holding down the shift key on your keyboard. This will allow you to move as well as copy and paste multiple objects all at the same time. Creating new web pages. You can create a new page at any time by clicking the new page icon or clicking file new on your toolbar. You can create a duplicate of one of your existing pages or you can create a new page from scratch by choosing the blank page option. For this example, I'm going to create a duplicate of my home page by selecting the home page and giving my new duplicate page a name and clicking the create page button. Once my page is created, you can see I'm now on the page I named services and I can now edit that page. You can make a consistent look across your website by creating a page layout that you're happy with and then duplicating it several times over for each page. Working with the menu. Your menu is the navigation that appears on your web page. You can select it and delete the navigation from your page at any time. To bring your navigation back, click on the dashboard link. From your dashboard, scroll down to the page that you removed the menu from and find the column labeled display menu. You can see here that because I removed the menu from my services page that the yes has been turned to a no in the display menu column. I can return the menu to the page by clicking no and changing it to a yes. I can now go back to my site and back to my services page and see that my menu has once again appeared. I can choose to remove a page from being displayed on my menu simply by clicking in the shown on menu column the yes to a no. So for example, I have my services page, I've clicked yes to a no in the shown on menu page and now when I go to my services page I can see it's no longer displayed on the menu. I can return it by clicking the no into a yes and now I can see my services page is once again displayed on the menu. I can change the order in which pages appear on my menu by clicking and dragging my pages. So for example, services was the last page on my menu and now I've dragged it to be the second page on my menu. I click on preview to view my page and I can see that services is now the second page on my menu. Adding a domain name to your website. If you're serious about your online presence, you'll want to get a dom domain name. You can add a domain name to your website in a few easy clicks by clicking on the Add Domain Name button. You can then choose to search for a domain name for your website, or you can choose the option of already owning a domain name if you've registered one somewhere else previously. I'm going to go ahead and check availability on the domain name that I wish to use for my website. As you can see, the domain name that I wish to use is available. Now, in order to use a domain name with your website, you have to upgrade to a WebStarts Pro or Pro Plus account. Upgrading to a WebStarts Pro Plus account is the very best value. So go ahead and click continue and complete the checkout. Once your checkout is completed, your domain name will automatically be configured to work with your website. That concludes the getting started video tutorial. Don't forget that you can get help at any time by clicking on the help link in the upper right hand corner of your dashboard or in your editor. We've created hundreds of helpful videos that cover just about anything that you would like to do with your website. If you're still not able to find an answer to your question, please email support 
at webstarts.com.